Hi everyone, welcome to Man with Demon. Please don't forget to subscribe, enjoy the video. A teacher finds herself in the body of Lady Lucia. A woman who committed suicide. It feels like my veins are pulsing with alcohol instead of blood. I cannot breath. Someone please help me. I am nauseous. My heart is pounding. Is this how it ends? I don't want to die. Where am I? Am I dreaming? Is this because I drank too much? I can't move. A servant said, My lady, you are awake. Are you all right? Lord Chamberlain asked about her that. Has she awakened? Yes, sir. But she has not fully come to her senses yet. Lord Chamberlain. So she's alive. There's no need for such a commotion. She only drank a track amount of poison. She will be fine. Did she think she would get attention by poisoning herself? How foolish. They are all the same. Privileged young ladies enter the places by the dozens, hoping to win the imperior's heart. The higher their expectations, however the more disappointed they grow with time. In the end, they all meet the same fate. They put themselves at risk and test out their luck on the tightrope between life and death. I am so dizzy, I can't hear what they are saying. Am I dreaming? I can't believe she would got this far just to draw the Imperior's attention. Listen carefully. The Imperior is not interested in you. Most women die to drinking poison. But few like you manage to survive. Do you know? What happened to all the others? Once they realized nothing had changed, they poisoned themselves again. Since you have managed to survive, why don't you take this opportunity to change something about yourself? Who knows? The Imperial might come around after he sees how you have changed. Who's that guy? What's he going about? Is he talking to me? I wonder who he is. Don't let anyone in. Including doctors and healers, understood? Understood. Lord Chamberlain. So his name is? Lord Chamberlain. That's not a dream. I awoke up totally different world. How is that possible? This is the kind of things that only happened in novels. It's all too real to be a dream. It's cold, my lady. You are still recognizing from the poison. You need your rest. Poison? Did the old owner of this body try to kill herself? They keep calling me lady. It's miracle you are alive. Please don't starve yourself. The roses in the garden blooming beautifully. Would you care to take a walk? I had actually liked to rest a little more. Then I will help you to freshen up. Shall I heat some water for you? Lady Lucia? Are you all right? No need to be formal. I will go to heat some water. Lady Lucia? Hm, yes. Thank you. This hair, I just can't get used to it. How did I end up this crazy color? These eyes, too. I have never seen race with such a color. I can't get over my apparent. Where am I? Have a seat over there. Your Majesty. All right. Are you feeling dizzy? You really must be careful. You'll be back to your old self soon. Lady. I am fine. But thank you for asking. I can't believe they almost buried such a pretty girl alive. How awful. I don't know exactly what happened but it sounds like this person poisons herself. I feel sorry for her even though I had nothing to do with it. My lady, I am worried about you. Please get some more rest. Lady Lucia, okay I'll. I am feeling fine. You don't worry. Lady Lucia thought. What happened to the original owner of this body? I want to find out more about who I am. Know about who this woman was. Hey, you know that thing, Lucia. I mean I always write in. You mean your diary? 
lady. Yes, my diary. I keep it safe for you. By taking diary. Lady thought that. Who are you, Lucia? She didn't committed suicide. She didn't accidentally die while trying to get the Imperior's attention. Then what happened to her? How did I enter her body? Lucia was not after power. She just wanted to someone who would truly love her. Although she came from an aristocratic family, she didn't have any illusion about the imperial family. Lucia only came to the Rose Palace because her father pressured her to charm the imperial with her beauty. Grab his heart with your hands and his body with your legs. He sacrificed for her daughter in order to raise his social status. Then he never came to visit her even once. She was not an empress or a royal concubine. She was a pet bird. That was waiting for the imperial to take pity in her and open the cage. What happened before she collapsed? Beware the black rose flouting in the water. What could that mean? One who becomes the Imperior's eyes. One who becomes the Imperior's messages. One who tell the Imperior what he wants to hear. He is not to be crossed. And he is not to be interfered with. Lord Chamberlain ordered the servant to show some kind of information. The servant requested the Lord Chamberlain by saying that. I am not authorized to show you. Lord Chamberlain said with curiosity. Is that so? Servant replied to him. Yes, sir. Lord Chamberlain said sounds you would like to show me even your life depended on it. Well, nothing to be done. I will just go directly to his majesty then. The servant became affaired and said, Majesty? No, no. I will show you. I will just give it to you. Sorry, sir. I'm so eager to give them to you, Lord Chamberlain. It's fine. The servant said, sir. Please look at whatever you wish, Lord Chamberlain. But if anyone else were to find it out, Lord Chamberlain looked at that papers and said, My word, the budget for the Rose Palace is absurd. Is it this much every month? The servant crumbled with fear and said, well, this month's budget was a bit below average. We usually spend much more than this. If the Imperial heard about this, the servant asked to the Lord Chamberlain that. Would you mind not telling the Imperial? You see I have a wife like a bear and children like bunnies back home. I am sure you are aware. I must bring home money in order to placate the bear. Surely you understand? I beg of you, sir. Suddenly Lord Chamberlain saw Lady Lucia and said it's Lady Lucia. Where's she going? The servant said. I think she's on her way to tea time with the other ladies. Lord Chamberlain said. The budget for the Rose Palace mostly goes towards tea time and the necessary dresses, accessories, and so on. Lord Chamberlain thought that. Dresses and accessories for tea time? Do they drink the dresses and eat jewelry for snacks? The servant laughing and said your jokes. My lord. The ladies use those things to show off their beauty. They draze more extravagantly when they meet other women compare when they meet other men. Tea time is just not a place for socializing. His majesty made it mandatory to attend. The ladies put their hearts and souls into dressing up in hopes that they'll see him here. Lord Chamberlain said that these ladies sounds pathetic. The servant said to the Lord Chamberlain that you must be careful with your words, my lord. Lord Chamberlain said to him, has any girl in the Rose Palace so much as spent the night with his majesty? Why must we indulge them when his majesty has not even accepted one as his wife? The servant laughing at that point and said, well, we have no other choice. They do come here in the hopes of becoming the empress. We can't just let them run around in rugs. Besides, they spent every night waiting up for His Majesty. Couldn't we at least let them have their fun as a consolation? Lord Chamberlain asked the servant about his name. The servant became affaired and said, I. Why do you ask my name? 
Are you planning to tell His Majesty? About me? Please don't. You see I have a wife like a bear at home. On the other side Lady Lucia's maid tell her that here is your gown for tea time. My lady? I think it'll suit you well. If you stand up. I can help you into it. This is a bit awkward. I have only ever worn simple dresses. The maid said to the Lady Lucia that it's amazing. You looking like a doll. Would you like to take a look? The maid again asked about the dress that. Is the dress to your liking? Lady Lucia said. Yes, it's perfect. The maid said allow me to braid your hair for you. Are your shoes comfortable? Lady Lucia said. Yes. They feel fine. The maid said that it's the room at the end of the hall. I'll be waiting for you here. Lady Lucia said that there's no need to wait for me go get some rest. The maid said that. Really? But? Lady Lucia said to her that well, all right. I'll be back after tea time. In her diary Lady Lucia said she was afraid of the women at the Rose Palace. I wonder what they are like. The maid said to Lady Lucia that allow me to pour you some tea. My lady. Lucia relied to her that thank you. A girl came toward the Lucia and asked to her with simply face that. How are you feeling? Your hands are so cold. Why don't you let Isla warm them up for you? Lucia thought by seeing her that did she prefer to herself in third person? That's peculiar. And a weird. Isla was late because she was changing dresses. The girl thought about Lucia that did she miss anything? If Isla had gotten here earlier, she wouldn't be sitting way at the end of the table. Then again even. If Isla had come early, she still wouldn't have been able to sit over there. The girl thought that Isla is so jealous of Swan and the many privileges she enjoys at the Grand Duke's granddaughter. She's almost guaranteed to spend a night with his majesty. This is all so unfamiliar I don't fit in here. But no one ever has. The girl whispers that. But the way, Isla was watching when Lucia collapsed. Lady Lucia shocked by knowing that. This girl saw Lucia take the poison? Then Lucia thought that. That must be why everyone keeps staring at me but wouldn't say anything? The girl again said about Isla that No one has ever had the honor of a night with his majesty But Isla is sure Swan will get her chance sooner or later Isla will never get the chance to be better than Swan will she? Since it come to this Isla will just have to convince her father Lucia repeated her words Convinced to your father? The girl became furious Convince him to use position to make his majesty notice Isla when he's finished with Swan. Lucia said. Seriously? Isn't that a bit much? Lucia must feel the same way. Lucia thought that I just can't understand. She said to her that. Pardon? Are you still feeling ill? Lucia replied to her that. No, I am fine. It's feel like I am watching a play. I mean I am living out Lady Lucia's life. But this can't be right. Because I am not Lucia. There was another young lady who said to Lucia that it's been a while. I didn't know you were ill. If I had known I would have brought you some soup. The girl said to that young lady that Isla told you at the last tea time. Did you forget? The young lady says. Whom is that so? I don't remember. Lucia said I am fine now. The young lady said again is that so? Well, you did only take the poison for attention. Naturally you didn't take enough to kill yourself. The young lady who seated there asked that I heard it feels like your throat is on fire when you drink it. Is that true? Did you do it on impulse? Surely you wouldn't do it a second time. Right? Lucia said that thank you for your concern. But I seem to have trouble remembering what happened before I woke up. If it comes back to me I will be sure to let you know. Lucia read about these questions and thought that. 
I have to be cautious. I still don't know who tried to kill Lucia. I feel like I am suffocating in here. I need some fresh air. When Lucia returned a pot broken by her, the lady asked that are you okay? Lucia? Lucia said that yes I am fine. The young lady asked that are you really lost your memory? The girl whispered that I think so. I see you look so fatigued. Why don't you go some rest? Lucia left that place and thought it's so beautiful here but I don't know how to talk to these people. Will I ever get used to this? How am I supposed to dive like this? A guy came here and said that what are you doing out here? Lucia said that I am just getting some fresh air sir. Lucia thought that who is he? He looks kind of grumpy. Should I not have called him, sir? How did Lucia treat him? It looks like he knows me. The guy asked to Lucia that why are you sitting here? What's that stain on your dress? Lucia replied to him that I spilled some tea. Lucia felt that it seems like he wants to tell me something. Should I ask him? I am not really in the mood for talking right now, though. The guy said to her that the food chain doesn't apply only to animals. It's the same for human. Today is only a stain on your dress who knows what kind of torments they'll think up later. Lucia replied to him that I splitted the tea. Lucia thought about him that what's his deal. The guy said that if you wouldn't want it to happen second time, you have to become stronger. Lucia thought about his conversation that. What? Is he giving me advice? Why he's telling me all this? What's with all the conversation? If he has something. He wants to complain about. He should just say it. The guy looked at Lucia and said that you haven't changed a bit. Lucia felt that. That voice. I have heard it somewhere before. The guy said that since you have managed to survive, why don't you take this opportunity to change something about yourself? Lucia turned and thought that. Wait. He is the guy from before. Lucia said that I have become someone else. I died and come back to life as another person. Isn't that reason enough to meet the Imperior? Has the Imperior ever met a woman who became someone else? A guy asked to her that what are you trying to say? Lucia thought that maybe the Imperior knows why that happened and can help. I have to meet him. I need to know if there's a way to return to my original body. The guy said that the Imperior is no sage. He doesn't know everything. I am sorry I can't give you the answer you want. A maid came and said to Lucia, My lady, my apologies I don't realize you'd left. Lucia said to that maid, It's fine. Let's go. The maid became sad and thought that did something happen. My lady, is there perhaps? Lucia said that nothing happened. Lucia felt that she is so tired. The maid asked that I'll unbrand your hair for you. By looking at the mirror Lucia whispered the name Lord Chamberlain. A little maid surprised by saying that and said that pardon? Lord Chamberlain? Did you meet the Lord Chamberlain? Lucia said yes. The maid said that he grows more handsome by the day ever in the short time since you have woken up. Lucia asked that really? The maid replied that yes. He came to check on you. He was quite glad to see you awake. Lots of chambermaid in the palace saw him today. I suppose you did too. Lucia thought in her mind that I guess Lord Chamberlain is not his actual name then. The maid said that. I hear his deep dark eyes and sharp jawline are as handsome as ever. I have just never seen anyone so handsome. Lucia said to her maid that tell me everything you know about him. The maid explained about that guy named Lord Chamberlain that he is tall with broad shoulders and a narrow torso. So he looks good in anything. He is more even attractive than he is focused on his work. His best feature is his face. His lips so red even without makeup. I can't help staring. Lucia thought in her mind that are we talking about the same guy. I mean he was not ugly but he definitely wasn't all that. 
The maid said that but the imperior is more handsome, of course. Lucia said that the imperior is recluse. The said that yes he never shows himself. That's why the Lord Chamberlain is so busy. He acts as the emperor's eyes and ears. People are saying that Lord Chamberlain will become the future imperior. Lucia asked that do they really said that? The replied that yes they also said that his black hair was inherited from the imperial's bloodline. Lucia asked that his black hair is the special hair? Does only the imperial family have it? Lucia said that not necessarily but it is rare. So what's he is doing in the Rose Palace? The maid replied that he only comes whenever a lady succumbs to poison or overcomes it. He visits whenever there are problems. Though it's been a while since his last visit. Lucia said that I'd like to get some rest. The maid said that would you care for some soup before you sleep? Lucia said. That would be nice. Lucia finished her soup and thought that it's strange the imperial never shows his face. So the Lord Chamberlain has to take care of everything for him. Lucia thought that if I can find out what happened to Lucia, maybe I can figure out how to get back in my world. Does the Lord Chamberlain know about the remorse? On the other hand, Lord Chamberlain asked about the budget and asked that so there's no way to reduce the budget? The servant replied to him, no sir. As a mere clerk, it's beyond my power. Lord Chamberlain asked that are your bear-like wife and bunny-like children doing well? The servant said pardon. Please overlook this matter sir. I don't want to lose my job. There's nothing I can do. Short of becoming the head steward or the Rose Palace. I see, so it's because of your rank. Lord Chamberlain said that just a month of the palace's budget would be enough to run an entire estate for a year. The servant said that no estate compared to the lavishness of the Rose Palace, sir. So people who live in the houses are mere human and those who live in the palace are angels. Is that it? But the ladies are all human too, of course. All the budget goes towards food and clothes. Lord Chamberlain thought that he may seem like a fool but knows how to hold his ground. The servant said by laughing that rather than trying to lower the budget finding his majesty a wife maybe. Lord Chamberlain became annoyed and asked that so you can't cut it at all. And what would your wife think of that? The servant became quick for a while and replied that well SH wouldn't kill me. Although if I make her angry she may break a few bones. Then again if I make the ladies angry. Oh dear. Lord Chamberlain said that I suppose you would be sentenced to death for upsetting one of them. The servant said that I have just feel very uncomfortable. Lord Chamberlain said that now that I think about it. It's been a while since any of them have tired to drink poison. They hay probably given up seeing as how his majesty never bats an eye when they are poisoned. Is that so? Indeed, I just feel bad for Lady Lucia. I suppose it's affected her more than we first thought. She hasn't left her chambers for some time. She hasn't been eating much either. Before she collapsed, she used to smile and talk all the time. Now, she doesn't even recognize me. They say she is suffering from memory loss due to the shock. She doesn't even remember where she was when she poisoned herself. Lord Chamberlain advised to the servant that you seem to care so much for someone who is not even your wife. The servant said that well. She is so kind and beautiful. She has an aura of mystery about her. Indeed Lady Lucia is incredibly charming. Lord Chamberlain said that not her, you. The servant said pardon? Lord Chamberlain said that from now on. You're mine. The servant said that wait. What? So the reason you refused all those women was? Lord Chamberlain said that if you refuse, I'll have you fired. The servant requested that Lord Chamberlain, Please, I was born into a lower family and succeed through my own blood, sweat and tears. I spend my days in the fields and my evenings studying by moonlight. Lord Chamberlain left that place and walking alone. Lord Chamberlain plowed the flower 
and thought that the thrones beneath the petals resembled the ladies of the Rose Palace. His Majesty never bats an eye when they get poisoned. Lord Chamberlain remembered Lady Lucia's words that, I have become someone else. Lord Chamberlain thought that perhaps. Congratulations are in order. She managed to get the attention she was after. All the ladies who looked the poison were found collapsed stop a thorn bush. There's only one person left who can tell me the truth. All the other ladies committed suicide not long after the first time they collapsed. If she's hiding what happened to her before she took the poison while pretending to someone else. Lord Chamberlain thought that she might be able to give me some answer. Then no one else in the palace will have to die. Lord Chamberlain talked to himself that. All right. Go ahead and do as you will. Lord Chamberlain saw a piece of clothes hanging outside from the window. Lord Chamberlain said that what's that? It doesn't look like a curtain. Lord Chamberlain thought that she jumped? Did she climb through the window to kill herself? Does she really think she will die if she falls from that hay? What's she thinking? BT climbing at the tree. Lord Chamberlain said that you can't die. Lucia saw him at the top of the tree beside her window and asked that what are you doing in that tree? Lord Chamberlain smiled and asked to her what are you doing here? Lucia also smiled and said I couldn't sleep. By looking at the moon Lucia thought that everything else has changed but at least the moon is still the same. The view's quite nice from the day up here. I think I will have a glass of wine and that's what happened. Lucia smiled and said that would you care for a glass? Lord Chamberlain said that I intended to lower the budget but there's another way. There's a senior servant of Lord Chamberlain who asked that have you come up with a good solution then your majesty? They'll have to start earning their keep. You mean the ladies, your majesty? Lord Chamberlain asked that is there anyone else in the palace feasting off the bread if idleness? The senior servant of the Lord Chamberlain said that I see someone has presented his majesty with a wonderful idea. I wonder who it was. But those ladies have never worked a day in their lives. What could they possible do? Lord Chamberlain said that I have no patience for those who leech off of others. There's someone who I'd like you to meet, Halo. He'll be of help to you. The senior servant saw another junior servant and called him. What's your name? Oh, I'm Felix. Sir. The senior servant said that great you have passed. Felix became shocked and asked that pardon. Passed what? The senior servant said that you greet me respectfully without knowing my station and I appreciate your caution in asking questions. Not to mention your sunken eyes, piggish nose and humped back are all respect. Indeed everyone likes an ugly, survived fellow, why I have taken to you already. Felix Bacon disheartened and said that I can't tell if that's supposed to be a compliment. The senior servant said to Felix that we'll be working together from now on follow me. Felix said that yes sir. Felix said pardon. The Lord Chamberlain is. The Imperior? The senior guy of Lord Chamberlain said that. That's correct. Felix said you mean that grumpy Lord Chamberlain who sticks his nose in everyone's business in the Imperior? I heard the Emperor is a fierce warrior who spent years in battle. The senior servant said that is also correct. He is indeed a skilled warrior. Felix said that the emperor is said to have black hair that glimmers with gold. But the Lord Chamberlain's hair is just black. He may not be able to change his hair color, but he can hide the way it shines. They say he drinks blood instead of wine and dines on human flesh. The senior servant said that oh ho. Is that so? What else have you heard? Felix said that I could have sworn the Lord Chamberlain's measurements are different from his majesty's. The senior servant said that have you ever compared them with yourself? Felix said that no I am just finding all of this so hard to believe. The senior servant said that then don't believe it. Just do as I tell you. Felix became affaired and said that is it really true? The senior servant said that no I was lying. Felix said that I am so confused. 
The senior servant asked that how many ladies are staying in the Rose Palace? Felix replied that there are originally 78, sir. The senior servant said that that's quite a lot. There shouldn't be more than a handful by now. Felix said that but why his majesty pretending to be the Lord Chamberlain? The senior servant said that I thought you didn't believe me. Felix said very sadly that naturally, seeing as how he killed everyone. The senior servant said that you'd best watch of your tongue. Felix said that yes sir I beg your pardon. As the story goes, a devil returned from battle covered in blood. Only to kill his own family. So that he might ascend the throne. On the other hand, the maid said to the Lady Lucia that it's quite hot out, my lady. Lucia said to that maid let's play a game Serena. The maid Serena asked that a game? My lady. Lucia said that yes. I called it a. Odd questions. I'm going to ask you some odd questions and all you have to do is answer with a straight face. If I run out a question first, I lose, but if you can't keep a straight face, you lose. If you win, you can all take the day off, but if you lose, you'll have to stay up all night. The maid Serena said. All right. Lucia said, then I'll start. What is the purpose of the Rose Palace? Serena said that the court officials insist that his majesty must take a queen in order to establish his bloodline. They brought it up every day for two years until his majesty finally relented. At first there are only one or two ladies, but more and more began to arrive and now they have taken over the palace. Of course, only those who meet the requirements are permitted entry. Lucia asked that why doesn't the emperor ever show himself? The emperor was originally second in line for the throne. While fighting for succession he killed his older brother and became emperor. After that he entered the palace and was never seen again. That's quite the story. Lucia asked that is it true that the Lord Chamberlain relays the emperor's messages? The maid Serena said that yes my lady. Lucia asked that what's he like? Serena said that I heard he was emperor's right hand in battle. Lucia asked did he get there by climbing the social ladders? His attending a tea time must... Serena said that yes. My lady. Lucia said that. It's mandatory. So it's basically like a company dinner. What if I want to stop going to tea time? Serena said that you'd have to tell the Lord Chamberlain. Suddenly Lucia heard the loud voices. Lord Chamberlain. Where are you? Serena said that it's nearly impossible to find him. He rarely shows himself unless there's something special going on. Lucia asked that who's closest to him. Serena said that no one. At least not in the palace. As the emperor's eyes and ears, there are many who'd like to get close to him. But he's really hard to track down. The maid Serena said that I have an idea. Lucia said that I'll just drive some poison. Lucia asked that what if I drink poison? The maid Serena said that then he would definitely come. So he comes whenever someone life is hanging in the balance. Lucia thought that how did I leave the palace? I want to get out and see some other flowers for a change. Serena said that well. If you get permission, you can leave whenever you to like. Lucia said that I am sorry Serena. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable with all these questions. Serena said that it's quite all right. Serena though in her mind that the doctor said the effects of the poison could make her unstable. There was at least a dozen ladies at tea time. They all came here for the slightest chance of becoming empress. Lucia thought that I wonder. Why did Serena get so upset? There's still so many questions I didn't get to ask her. Serena came to Lucia's room and said that my lady you said you'd like to see different flowers. So I prepared some for you. Lucia became so glad to see the different kinds of flowers and said thank you Serena. How do you manage all this in such a short time? Lord Chamberlain came suddenly at that time and said that it was nice to see your servants picking flowers for you. I thought I'd help. 
Lucia became surprised and said strange. I thought he rarely made appearance. If I am not mistaken, I have already seen him multiple times. Lord Chamberlain asked that may I have a seat? Lucia said that yes please. Lord Chamberlain asked how are you feeling? Lucia replied I am all better thank you. Did someone else faint? There's maybe someone else who entered the body of poisoned woman. Lord Chamberlain said that no. No one else has fainted recently. I came here on other business. Lord Chamberlain take out a scroll from his pocket. Lucia asked about it. What's that? Lord Chamberlain said to her that a scroll has been sent to all the other ladies. But I came to deliver the message to you in person. Every living thing on earth spends a fruitful day under the sun. The seeds in the earth unfurl into sprouts, and the flowers bloom in spite of the wind. Such is the way of the world. Lucia said that I am feeling asleep. It's like listening to the principal talk. Thus, every lady in the Rose Palace must use her talents. Lucia thought that what I'll do tomorrow. What I'll do in the future. After a day spent in dressing up, drinking tea and gossip. I wonder. If there's anything for me to do here. That's all. I can't believe the Emperor was thinking the same things. Lord Chamberlain said that there are going to be lots of changing in the Rose Palace. If they find out you are the one behind some of them, this will be our little secret. I will assume you have agreed. So I will relay His Majesty's message. I will take my leave then. Lord Chamberlain said that I will give you time to think. A clerk will come around for your answer. If you're unsure of what to do, I will make a decision on your behalf. On the other hand, a guy named Jace came to the Lord Chamberlain and called louder. Your Majesty, can you hear me from up there? What are you doing here? Please take me under your wing. Your Majesty, Lord Chamberlain said why would I? Jace said that I may have been a knight of the enemy, but I saved your life. Don't I? If hadn't kill your brother, someone else would be sitting on that throne right now. Lord Chamberlain became furious and said, Silence. Do you have any idea how many of my men you slaughtered? 